Hello everyone. I'm here to share my quick thoughts on the new Marina single called Purge the Poison, which is the second single off of her upcoming album, Ancient Dreams in a Modern Land. This will be her fifth studio album. Her uh, last album came out two years ago, Love and Fear. And she released the first single off of this record back in November and it was called Man's World. She then put out a remix uh, with Pablo Vitar. Uh, the Brazilian singer uh, by Empress Of, who is a singer I also am a fan of now. Uh, so I really like seeing them all collaborate. And now we've got the second single, Purge the Poison, and we've got the album cover, we've got the information, we've got the track list. I'm very excited. It comes out June 11th. Um, first of all, I do want to just say the single cover we got for this song is stronger than the album cover. I am not a big fan of the album cover. I've got to be honest. I'm sure It'll grow on me. Um, I think the wig looks really cheap in the album cover. And I think that something about the composition and the, you know, textures and uh, it's just, it's not that it's, it's a little much. It's a little much without being uh, deservedly so. Uh, and it's not as striking of a pose that she is, uh, you know, in, in the photograph. Um, as the single cover. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed with the album cover, but then again, it's not something, it's not really a bone that I'm going to pick with her. Um, and the the song that we have gotten now is, I think, carrying along the sentiment, the anti-patriarchal sentiment of man's world, just in a so much more of a direct way, even more so. Um, this song is feistier and it's seeing a bit more of that attitude that had no holds barred from her early days with the family jewels. Um, and I think sonically, there's a lot of comparisons that can be made there as well. Um, it's still a very much electro pop song, but there's a bit more of a, a gritty rock sensibility. And I think that, you know, combining with the, the witty, biting lyricism that she showed on her first two records, seeing that return to form, though she's always, you know, had really acute social commentary in her songs. I think the song Savages from Fruit comes to mind as sort of like uh, the prototype for what Purge the Poison is. It's sort of the continuation of that story. Um, and I do love in the lyrical content, just all the different allusions to how we are as a society at such a liminal space between, you know, uh, change that can be positive and also so negative. Pulling all of the strings and all of the threads together, kind of weaving it all under the guise of the patriarchy still being sort of like that, you know, especially the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy is uh, as the, the big overlord over everything that's ruining the environment, that's holding women's rights back. As she sings, you know, women only make a quarter of the government. I'd love to see a world where that's not the case. I mean, she's just this, this whole, I think this whole record is going to be thematically tied to plea for uh, feminist utopia. And I think that that is something that is always going to be something we're all feeling a lot more called to imagine more and more as we see the playing out of society today. And she directly calls it out in the pre-chorus, you know, saying all the bad and good, racism and misogyny, nothing's hidden anymore. Capitalism made us poor. God forgive America for every single war. I mean, she's calling out America, but she could also be calling out Great Britain as well. Uh, you know, she can call, you know, she's just, she's calling out the white supremacist uh, capitalist patriarchy uh, for all of the hatred and all of the cause of discord, basically, in all of humanity's history, which you know, some people might think is too broad a stroke to paint, but I think it's very apt um, and very uh, much the direction that we need to be moving away from in society's future. So, I mean, I wholly expect, I mean, Marina being so strongly, you know, overt about all this in her lyrics, it's just, it's something I love to see from her. And I, definitely, I want to see her explore that even more um, in some of these songs so that it's like, you know, these different topical issues like the environment, women's representation in government, military, industrial complex, capitalism. I want, I mean, she's explored these topics and sort of like glimpses in all of her work, but I think she could really dive into it more. And I think that ties into the idea of ancient dreams in a modern land. Basically, how do we reconcile with today's technology, sort of like uh, the old kind of Woodstock, but even beyond that, uh, the utopian dreams of societies bygone, you know, from far along ago, where there was a better understanding of oneness with nature and with their fellow 
human beings. So it's, it's asking us to look very forward and also very back um, and see the full circle. But we need to purge the poison. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's the right level of political and it's the right level of uh, angst. Uh, and I think it serves our current climate very well. So I'm very excited to see where she's going and how alternative rock she's going to lean into the sound on this new record instead of being so dance electropop. Um, even though I love when she does do the electronic dance music stuff, um, I definitely wouldn't mind the guitars coming in a little bit more because there wasn't so much of that on Love and Fear. Um, and so I'm really excited to see where this is headed. But that album cover, yeah, it's not really serving conceptually very much for me. It's sort of like Wonder Woman uh, with a cheap wig. Kind of kitschy, but that is what it is. Uh, I will review that album when it comes out, but I will not be reviewing any of the more singles that come in the meantime between then and those 11 songs. So I hope you enjoyed this review. What are your thoughts on the new song? If you're excited for the record and I will see you all in my next video, please give this a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace, love, and light. Bye.